Hi guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about the custom CCP, how to do that in Amazon Connect. Okay, so before moving on, uh, just like to request that uh, do subscribe to the channel. 92% of the user are not subscribing, just watching the videos. And if you're coming from Google search or anywhere you have find from the external side, give a thanks, like and subscribe. Okay, so coming back to the video. Uh, so Amazon Connect provides you the SDKs, right, to connect to the uh, custom CCP, okay. And we are going to use the Amazon Connect stream, right. I will put this uh, URL into the description section of the video, okay. So what they are saying is uh, we can just copy this HTML file, which is given over here, and give some details of the instance and others, and it will start accepting or getting the calls, okay. So what I will do is I will go to my the code section, right? And we have HTML, we have public, and what I will do is I will create a file. Uh, let's name it CCP underscore v two dot HTML, right? And uh, let's edit it. Open with the editor and paste it over here. So the HTML which I copied from here is pasted over here. Now there are a few things to note. Okay. So first they are saying is to use either the local connect stream uh, JavaScript, right? So for that they have given certain steps, right? I will show that uh, uh, in the later part of the video. Uh, what we are going to use is we are going to leverage the CCP url they have already published to the cdn okay so this is the url that they have right so i will just directly use that one so that we don't have to locally build it okay now the next information they are looking is uh, to change this instance right over here so to find that my instance domain right what i will do is i will go to my amazon connect okay and over here you can see the instance alias so i will just click on the copy instance is copied and i will paste it over here and that's it so url is already given now there are certain parameters they have given like uh, the window that you want to see in amazon connect side uh, how it will be login process and all this thing region they have given so what is our region our region is london 2 which is eu west 2 so we will change to eu west 2 right then they have given the soft phone configuration storage access uh, page options and then additional uh, logs uh, timeout right so you can keep those value like this values over here or you can delete that right for the soft phone like uh, they have given the ringtone uh, path the mp3 path you can disable the echo if you are using the vdi platform specify that are you uh, disable the ringtone or allowed framed soft phone like it has to become as a box or it can be uh, open-ended so you can keep it or you can delete it so it doesn't matter how you change it so what i will do is i will delete i don't want it right uh, till here i will delete all i will just remove from here this one and click save okay what i will do is uh, okay yeah one more thing i will run the code uh, so this is my node.js code all the details about this code is already been given uh, in previous videos okay so it is running on port number 3000 okay uh, before that i have to modify the local host folder uh, in the express it is the file of the html so in the public folder this is the file it is running so i will just modify it and basically this script is doing is it's creating a express which is like a web service which will be running in port number 3000 looking for a public folder we already have a public folder over here right 
and in that folder it will look for a file ccp v2 html okay so let's run localhost uh, ccp html right now the thing to note over here it will not work right because then anybody can access my uh this thing uh, uh what do you say do you have rajiv okay i forgot the login instance let me log in okay so before that uh, we have to give the approved origins right so there uh, in the instance under there is something called approve origins so we will add a domain over here and our domain was something like this remove the path and just click on add domain and uh, after that uh, what i will do is i will go to my amazon connect instance and see what exactly the credential i can use where is the user management yeah over here uh, oh we don't have user like that so i will use rajiv and reset the password where is the password email address okay so password i will give something like uh, da, 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 da. okay so i changed the password so that i remember that can you do it automatically no so what i will do is i will open this one in in your cognitive mode okay now it should ask for a login i will just close this one so that doesn't conflict so usually it automatically pops up because that is what we have configured in the over here so login pop-up crew if it is made as false uh it will not give a, you a pop-up you have to manually trigger this url uh what was the password this was the password uh, let me log in no is it like this i'm not sure why did i save over there oh crap sorry i forgot to save so now i think it should be able to let me write the password again and once we do a sign in okay now it is working so over here we got access denied which is perfectly fine you just close this window click allow of your uh, these things uh, click available and uh, is that got auto close yeah auto close we have enabled or what login pop up auto close okay so we have auto close so that once you logged in it automatically closed does not stay open right now what we will do is we will uh, initiate a call transfer or uh, initiate a call so that uh, we will receive the call over here so what i will do is i think this will work right so i will go over here put it over here and uh, if i initiate the call localhost 3030 test oh we have not added to the load uh, over here load folder so just copy this path and paste and test and uh, this should be kill the server start again and now you should have that yeah that i can over here now what it will do is it will transfer the call to over here hopefully i am having this basic routing queue 
so this was the previous test I'm giving some garbage value over here and no thanks and it should transfer the call over here but it is not so one second let me double check so debugging how to do debugging so we will check is i am associated associated with general routing profile so now what i will do is i will go to the routing profile and in the routing profile the general routing profile i will see which queue we have so it is having general right so what we will do is another queue over here and uh, basic queue we will add over here click save so that i will start receiving calls for the uh this one also i think do we have to refresh uh, not sure uh, or let's initiate another call that will be easier uh, let's start the bot again and this time i should receive the call password blah 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 submit no thanks and nope so let's see what exactly is the issue general editing oh, okay so chat is not enabled task is not available how it will receive the call when it is only configured for voice so hopefully now yep now we are getting a call so you can see over here now we are getting a call we just click accept over here and here is custom ccp right and if we go back to the ui side it will see from the customer side you can see hi and to and fro conversation as it is so this is how uh, we can enable uh, the custom ccp in amazon connect using the amazon connect stream thank you have a nice day